This lake is fairly cold right now. It's 54, about at the warmest I'm finding. And I'm just slow rolling a spinnerbait through the bulrushes. Now this happens to be a Terminator titanium spinnerbait and they don't make them anymore. But that's not important because you can do this with any spinnerbait, literally any spinnerbait. Spinnerbait's one of my favorite baits in the whole world. This one just happens to be Terminator titanium. Anything with a bluegill color is, is probably favorable, but pure white, pure black, those are all great too. But uh, So yeah, like I said, I just got a pretty decent bite going here. I want to see if I can get some of these fish on camera. I got three of them in the live well right now that I'm pretty impressed with. So we'll get a look at those real quick and I'll see if I can get a couple nicer ones on camera. What I'm doing is the ice is sheared off all these bulrushes and it leaves little pockets. But those are the cleanest places that you can fish a bait. So I'll cast past those pockets, I'll bump into the reeds a little bit, and then as soon as I hit those pockets, I slow it down, let it sink, and then just kind of crank it a little bit. And that's where my strikes have been coming from. And this is a pretty expansive bulrush field, so I've been able to pull four fish out of it, three of them being really nice, and I'm gonna buzz around the lake and see if I can find some more like this, but I'll show you those fish right now. So here's two of the fish. These are beauties right here. Just big bellies on them. They got the true, true build of a northern nice big pre-spawn largemouth. Look at the belly on that one. So I'm gonna let them go here. A stud. That is a true stud right there. Oh man, I'm not even gonna venture a guess on weight, but she is tubby. I mean tubby. I'm gonna let this one go too. That one's just a dino. Look at that thing. All right, girl. Mm. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep the cameras rolling and see if I can get a couple fresh ones for you, but I kept those ones in the live wall to show you. Three of them, five pounds pushing six, that last one, so I'm gonna go get a couple more. Oh, another decent one there. Gosh, look at the bellies. Look at the bellies. Oh man. Same deal. So I like fishing a spinner bait because I can fish it a little faster. Another one of my favorite baits is a swim jig. Swim jigs are really good too. But like I said, I'm just getting a feel for this bite, so I'm kind of fishing a little faster with the spinner bait. And I might be able to pluck a couple more off with a swim jig, but this is working pretty well and I like to fish a little faster, so. There's another one. Mm. Just inhale. These are all, all just toads. Oh my goodness, I love this. You, it's pre-spawn, man. I mean, you don't get them built like that many other times of the year. Awesome. So in this situation, I'm just going right up the gut and I'm picking my cast. You might hear the phrase target casting quite a bit. And that's just scanning these bulrushes with my eyes and looking for openings, little pockets that I can, little pockets that I can get this spinnerbait to run through cleanly, if only for a couple seconds. And I'm just kind of feeling my way through here, letting off the troll, going slow, trying not to make a ton of noise with the trolling motor. And since it's so <clears throat> thick in here, I'll just punch the talon down real quick if I catch a fish or something, because <clears throat> spot lock's great, but it's just gonna muck things up because it's so shallow in here and I'm gonna be swinging back and forth. And so a talon is like the best way to more quietly more stably anchor when you're in shallow water here. I guess that's why they call it a shallow water anchor, but 
and I'm using a 6 2 to 1 gear ratio. This helps me slow it down a little bit. Braided line, pretty big deal in these reeds. You just need something that you can really yank on when they start wrapping themselves up and burying in the reeds. So I go with a braid, this is 30 pound. And I've been going a little lighter on the braid. I used to run 50, 40 a lot, now I'm down to 30. And 30 casts really good. It's a little bit more sensitive, not as beefy, of course. And still you can get them out of these bulrushes just fine. If, it, if I was moving on to some matted stuff or you know, maybe a little heavier cover, I'd, I'd beef up the line size to a 40 or 50, but this is about as perfect as you can get in here.